Good God. This light is too bright. Can I dim it? No, I can make it flash though. Oh, dear. Am I going to have to do the old Halloween torch to the face? Hang on. Hello, it's Alex. <laughs> uh, why am I doing this? I have no idea. Hello, it's Alex. <laughs> and I'm outside in the dark. And you know why? Because it goes dark so blooming early. And today, it's not cold. It must be about 12 degrees out here. It's dry. And it's December, it's mid-December, so brilliant. I want to do some jobs, or I've been doing some jobs in the micro. Now, I've already processed a video you may have already watched of me sorting out the choke, automatic choke. I've done another job is I've changed the wheels over, so I've got matching new tyres on the front. And I put the old Dunlop as a spare. It's a 1994 Dunlop. Put that as a spare. You probably can't see me, can you? Why am I talking in the dark? <laughs> I've taken the back seat out of the mic Micra, put it in the house. I might do another video on that because I need to see if I can get the cover off. And then the other little job that I want to do, since it's so warm and dry, is I need to paint the other number plate light. So I thought I'd put the camera on so you can see how you get those little sticky out number plate lights off the boot. Now, you'll have to appreciate poor lighting, but tough. <laughs> it's winter. Now, there's lots of little, tiny, annoying plastic screws holding this metal panel onto the boot. So to get them out, you should be able to unscrew them. Not with this shitty screwdriver, though. <laughs> right, that screwdriver fits. Now you should, <laughs> yeah, just be able to unscrew them. Sometimes they don't, they don't like to do that. And you have to help them out with a flathead screwdriver as well. Now there's a handy little crumb tray here. We can put the screws in. <laughs> See this one? Yeah, oh, it's coming, it's coming. I'll say some of them don't. Oh, that's good. They're all coming undone, so we haven't got to do any uh, prizing off with screwdrivers. Now, my tailgate is rusty along here, but it's inconspicuous, I think is the right word. Because, yes, there's some dots here, and it could do re replacing. But it's not awful, is it? You know, it's not the worst thing you've ever seen in your life. And again, this is rotten here, but outside, not that bad, you know? You get a few more years out of that. I mean, it's lasted 32 years, so why not a bit longer? That corner's okay. But I think, well, the holes are there. It let the water out now, doesn't it? <laughs> right, now this is the fun part because the screws are all out now. So now we've got to try and get this panel off without the little black things that are in there popping out and disappearing forever. So, let's try and prise them out nicely. That's it. I want to try and get those out. Can't see anything. I've sprayed this one 
I've already done that one but this one needs doing you see it's all bold if you can see this bright light but yeah that needs painting so we'll take that off so up here there we are that's the one there's a 10 mil uh, nut there that's quite deep so you need a deep socket to get into that and then another one there and then there is the wire I can't remember how that comes off I think there's a multi-plug there it is so you can pull this multi-plug off just flip that with a screwdriver you can see it there you are. and you can unplug that so there's not much to see really because the lighting is appalling sand down the area well we're going to paint the whole thing pretty much uh, what we are apart from the lens and the back so i need to sand this all down so it's all smooth because at the moment you can feel where the the bit that's worn off you know there's a ridge there so we need to sand all this down i'm going to start with um i'm going to start with a 240 must have been really thin paint on these. I don't even think they use primer. I'm going to use primer. And looking at this, I think they just sprayed the silver onto the plastic. That's why it's worn off, I think. Coming to get me. got to make it look worse before you can make it look better. You're pretty much just going to have to take all the paint off of this to get it to be nice and smooth before you can put the fresh paint on. I'm happy with the um, the other one I painted, so that you know, it's quite a good colour match. I don't think it's exactly the same, but it's good enough. It's better than being bold, which is what they are, or well, this is at the moment. Exceptionally bold. Oh, the sirens are busy tonight. So once you feel you've been rough enough with that, I go up a grade. So this is um, 400, so it's a bit more fine. It's finer. <laughs> Just to make it have a nicer, smooth finish. 
for the fresh coat of paint. I'm not going to bother painting inside this area at all because that looks fine. You know where the lens is. I'm going to mask that up. Right. Now I would just take your glove off. Give it a wipe. And have a feel. Oh, that's smooth. That is nice. A little bit rough there on that edge. So a little bit there needs doing. A little bit there. Yeah, that's not far off. I hate touching sandpaper, so let's uh, can't touch sandpaper without a glove on. <laughs> that's better. stage is to get some panel wipe, degrease and stuff, um, give it a good wipe, <laughs> make sure there's no um, bits of sand in, dust <sighs> trapped in there, basically give it a good clean and then we can spray it with primer. I got this cardboard box <laughs> and I made holes in it. So the light fitment just sits on there and then you can spray all around then and then you can set it down somewhere to dry which will be in the house um, yeah we need to go now spray the primer well away from the cars here I am in the dark spraying paint <laughs> Let's just do it whilst I'm holding it. Hang on. This is um, grey high build primer. Hope you can see something. Piss off wind. <laughs> I blew that right in my face. Just doing a, a light coat to begin with. Lovely. I'm going to put it in the warm. In the dining room. Right, that's enough for tonight. Oof. I've done a few good jobs tonight. Here's the light with three coats of high build primer on. And it's going to stay in here and dry off overnight. Tomorrow I can give it a quick sand down and then put the silver paint on, which is Starburst Silver. I think it's for the later micro, but um, it's, it's good enough. It's a good enough match. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, it's Alex. It's the next day. We've got to spray the Nissan Micra number plate light silver today. So this is high build primer that's been put on here. Three coats. And that looks like a nice finish. I'm going to use about a 400 grit 
sandpaper just to give it a scuff um, before I attempt spraying it with silver paint. Now it's quite cold outside today and there is some damp around but all I'm going to do is spray it outside and bring it back into the dining room so it can dry. Right here I am, not in the van. Uh, <laughs> yeah 400 grit just to give it a scuff. We don't want, if this was metal it would be more important not to expose any bare metal. I said but this Sorry, I got, I got I got a new camera stand, and I was worried that um, the microphone was blocked. But the microphone is here. Um, so yeah, if this was metal, it would be really important that we didn't get too close to the edges and didn't expose any bare metal. But this is plastic, so it's not too bad. But you still don't want to go mad on the edges too much. All we're doing is sort of scuffing it up, so the paint will adhere to the primer better. You could probably get away with just spraying it, to be honest. But I'd like to do a proper job. Even if it is just the micro. Because that's all it is to me, it's just the micro. I'm only trying to make it look pretty for the next person who takes it on. Plus I get to practice my uh, paintwork skills, don't I? <laughs> After we've done this, sanding, and we're happy with that, we then can uh, blow the dust off and use some more of that degreaser so we can uh, Make sure it's all free of grease and dust before we spray it with the silver. Uh, if you feel any imperfections, which really you need the glove off to feel. If you feel any imperfections, any little raised bits or lumps or anything, that's a good thing about high build is you can sand it down and it, it just builds up a nice flat surface I mean this is smooth as a baby's bum it's really nice so yeah we'll just degrease that and then it'll be ready for paint so as I've said before just a light dusting on the first coat concentrating on the edges dry. There we go, that's just one very light coat over the grey. <coughs> Alright, it's had three coats and several hours and uh, that looks good to me. I could do a fourth coat, I could lacquer it, but I think if I do any more to it, it will just look too good. Me and Arlo on the chairs in the dining room. <laughs> Not the dining room chairs, they're chairs that are in the dining room, that's different. He's happy, aren't you mate? Stick those claws in that leather, lovely. That's the original silver in there, and that's the new silver. Probably can't see in this light. That's <laughs> all right, I think I can hear the rats in the loft. 
Well, all that footage you just watched was about a month ago. And for some reason, I still haven't fitted this back on. Um, I don't think I need to film me putting it on, do I? Ta-da! <laughs> I'll get round to putting it on at some point. Thanks for watching. Bye.